the Eagles get a much needed win against a respectable 3 and 1 Carolina Panthers team and I know this team has a lot of stuff to correct but it feels good correcting it off a dub this is Philly talk with Philly Mike talking sixes in the bird game that's our life competition we ain't scared yeah that's what we like when or lose you know we showing up and we gon' fight uh you see we strive for the sky every day that go by and every single week we scream and fly eagles fly this is Philly talk with Philly Mike yeah this is Philly talk with Philly Mike yeah what is going on everybody i go by philly mike and this is the philly tall podcast and yes the eagles get a dub it's been three weeks since we can talk about a eagles victory so let's get into it but before we do that go ahead and hit the like button eagle nation subscribe if you're new and ding that notification bell so you know when we go live or drop videos but you already know how we start these videos let me hear it for the birds Now let's go. And let's look how we sealed the deal from the defense. Steven Nelson for the win. Cap it off. Three interceptions, two from Darius Lay, one from Steven Nelson, only one touchdown allowed. And yes, Carolina is known for their defense. But they put up 20-something points on the Cowboys last week, right? They've been able to muster up some points. And this defense that we wanted to get rid of some players, fire Jonathan Gannon, just destroy the defense, came up big. Multiple stops on fourth down, on third down to force a punt. Three interceptions. One touchdown allowed, and it was on a miscommunication. I don't know what Singleton and Anthony Harris were seeing, but this is what I want to tell you, Eagle Nation. I love the passion that we have. I really do. But we can't judge anyone or anything in such a short sample size. Nick Sirianni and him not running the ball still pisses me off. We won, but I'm still mad because I haven't seen it before, and I don't think it's a recipe for success. I just don't. Jonathan Gannon sometimes solves zone makes me mad. But at the end of the day, we have to see if they're going to continuously do the bonehead stuff or change. Nick Sirianni not running the ball is a little bit more different, but what I'm trying to say is this. I'm not saying Nick Sirianni is no Andy Reid. I'm not saying JG is going to be the next great thing, but Andy Reid, one of the greatest coaches in NFL history, started out 4-0 with the Philadelphia Eagles. And if that was fast forward now, we would have to see the context and how we're losing and who's on our team. But we'd be calling for his head because we don't give people chances. Jalen Hurts deserves the whole year, whether he sinks or swim. Nick Sirianni and Jonathan Gannon. Now you can pick and poke which ones deserve more, which one is getting more to slack, but we're going to do that while counting a W in the win column. This is a big win for a team that is undisciplined, that is young, because it teaches them that this team is good enough to make mistakes and still get a dub. But we can even be better if we don't make the stupid mistakes, and we made a lot. This team played a great game. The offense was sluggish for three quarters. Defense really held strong. You got to put it in context. The Philadelphia Eagles defense was good three out of five weeks. And the two weeks it wasn't was against two top five offensive teams. And I think Gannon tried to be too cute. He said, you know what? The Kansas City Chiefs, they throw the ball over out on everybody. We're going to play deep, 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 deep. And they, they outsmarted us. They ran the ball. And we didn't adjust because he was scared if we adjust, they're going to kill us over the top, which they did anyways. Dallas, even though it ran against the Chargers, Look at the data. They want to throw the ball for the last two years. They finally learned that running the ball helps. I think we just got a little too cute. I think this defense has players on it. I think this defense could be good under Jonathan Gannon. I'm not ready to give him flowers or kick him out. I'm just ready to sit back and watch. But the Eagles get a dub. And let's look at some of the stats. Jalen Hurts was 22 of 37 for 198 yards and an interception. A rushing touchdown. He was just able to do what he needed to do. It was a sloppy game for Jalen Hurst, but when the defense gave him an opportunity, he capitalized. You got to like that factor of, hey, just give me one more shot and I got you. Give me one more shot and I got you. 11 carries for Miles Sanders, 45 yards, but we do got to talk about him going out of bounds. Come on. Miles Sanders, this coaching staff doesn't trust you already, and you're going to make a bonehead move like that twice? Go out of bounds? Fall down. Fall down. 
Brian Westbrook gave up a touchdown to waste the clock. You're not even willing to just fall down and not go out of bounds. You got to be smarter than that. Devontae Smith had a fumble, and it was timely fumble. Like, it hurt us because we were driving. But he had seven catches for 77 yards, and he'll get over that. But look what the Eagles defense did to a pretty decent quarterback this year. Like, Sam Darnold is known to be the Jets' Sam Darnold. He's bad. But he's actually been pretty good. His worst game against... I think it was his worst game was against the Cowboys. Yeah. But he still had like a 95 passer rating. This guy was 21 for 37, 177 yards, one touchdown, and three picks. Listen, no quarterback in the NFL has thrown for 300 on us. Yes, we allowed Chubba Hubba Wubba Dubba to get for to go over 100 yards off 24 carries, 100 yards. And a DJ Moore had five catches for 42. I mean, DJ was getting 100 yards. DJ had 113 yards on the Dallas Cowboys, 42 against the Eagles. Slay said I had a baby. I got two picks. Put some respect on my name. <laughs> Put some respect on my name. Steven Nelson like me too. Three picks. We made the Carolina Panthers offense look really bad. And then it's not good. It's not great. But they put up 20-something on Dallas. He had a pass rating of 95 against Dallas. DJ Moore had over 100 yards receiving against Dallas. We got three takeaways. We gave the ball back once. Like I said, uh, the Devontae Smith fumble. But this is the ultimate team game. Special teams came in. The offense struggled. Jalen Hurts was making some bonehead plays, but when we gave him the opportunity, aha, he delivered. Hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought we were finished. I try to tell y'all to keep faith. This is what I do as an Eagle fan, you know what I mean? I know this team is have, has a lot to go, a lot to learn. I don't know if Nick Sirianni's the coach next year, JG, Jalen Hurts. But what I do know is by week five, even though I'm upset with some of the things they're doing, I'm just going to let it ride. And we're two and three. We'll see what happens. I think the Washington no-names lost. I think the Cowboys are losing. I'm not sure. I'm about to finish this game up. But let me know all your thoughts in the comment section. This is a big win because these young guys who do have potential, Sanders, Smith, Goddard, Rager, I know a lot of people are down on him, Hurts, these are backup offensive linemen, Driscoll, Dillard, Malata playing right tackle. We did a pretty good job against that front seven that was a monster. And don't get, like I said, the defense is the MVP of this. The secondary looked good. The run game that's been killing us, almost 200 yards a game. Yes, he still got over 100, but it was the way we stopped him. A lot of uh, second and nine, second and eights because we got him at the line of scrimmage. Fletcher got a sack. Hargrave was there. Barnett... Ryan Kerrigan finally got a tackle. I mean, like, what? So all I want to say is that before we judge this team, let's just watch. And we got Tampa this week, but let's enjoy the dub. Leave all your thoughts in the comment section because I love hearing from you guys. I'm going to find out who won the Jalen Hurts $25 giveaway. And, un and until next time, y'all know what time it is. We out. E-A-G-L-E-S-E-O! Dub.